this video we are gonna look at grabbing stuff from our tables when certain conditions are met like we can access something by its ID or by its name value if it matches a certain value we can grab that um, we're also going to alter the table and we're going to add a new column to said table so we're in our database we've got our makes and our models for our car dealership database and what we're going to do starting out is I'm going to go and say select um, excuse me select from select all from makes and now that I've got that I'm going to say select all from makes where make name equals Chevy and then that's all I get back right so this is pretty cool and you can use it a lot of ways so you can say select all from this table where um, this matches something from another table you can the, the possibilities are endless when you're working with where um, I can also do select ID from makes and I'll just get back the IDs I can say select make name from makes right and this is if I just want to get only those items right so what we're gonna do with our database structure is right now we have our makes and our models and if I say select all from makes I say select all from models then we're gonna see that although all of the makes and models have their own ID their own names and their own quantity what we don't have is any association between these two tables so we don't have something like where we can associate Camry with Toyota so what we would want to do is then we would make it so that the um, Camry has like a make ID that's associated with the other table and that make ID would match the ID in the makes that is Toyota's ID so that we can match them up so that we can call for all of the Toyota models right so what we're gonna do when we want to I should get this is we're gonna say alter table right so that just means we're gonna change something about a table and so the table is gonna be models right so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go in here and we're gonna say let me find the command uh, yeah add column right so we're gonna actually add the column go all the way back down here we're gonna add a whole new column to this and we're gonna give it a name and we're just gonna say um, this will be make ID and then we're gonna specify what data type this is in this case it's gonna be an integer so we're just gonna put that in there and then we're gonna say select all from models and then we'll see that this has an empty make ID so what we're gonna do moving forward is we're gonna want to give that a um, we're gonna want to give Camry a make ID so we're going to say insert into models and I'm going to say this is going to be a little bit of a, a, mix, a little bit of a mix up so we're going to say insert into models where and we know where the model name where the model name is equal to Camry was what we need to be looking for is something like this we need to update our table models and set 
the existing make ID, which was zero, because we hadn't put anything in there for that, to one, where the model name equals Camry. So this is just a different uh, usage of commands that we than what we thought. So I can change this to 21. Right, I'm gonna fire this off, and then we'll select all from models, and we'll see that the make ID is 21. But we want it to actually be just one. So that the make ID and the actual make ID are the same. So let's go ahead and run that out right now. I'm gonna do a whole new command set. Let's just put in update models set make ID equals one where model name equals and if we had um, multiple different like we had like Camry, Forerunner, um, Corolla, Avalon like all those different things we could put in multiple statements to update all of those so that the make ID was set so this is just something to show that like when you set up your database you want to think through um, you want to think through the whole entire data structure so that you're associating things properly for the for the usage that you're going to have because in this case on our website we're going to want to select we're going to want to associate data sets um, where we have IDs that match so um, I'm going to select all from makes All right so our ID here for Toyota is the same as our make ID inside of the the model right here so cool so we've made an association there and we've covered um, update set right we will update can this is basically a conditional um, update and also we we added we altered the table we added in a whole new column and yeah there we go so good stuff I'll see you in the next video